so great i am feeling so happy today only because of your guidance only because of your notes which you have given me uh, we are our online course first of all first and foremost i want to thank a lot ma'am because of you and i am feeling so happy today i feel so confident i'm so happy ma'am i don't find better word than thanks to express thank my gratitude thank towards you. you thank you so much ma'am Hi, Bovia. First of all, congratulations, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, ma'am. How are you? Uh, so great. I'm feeling so happy today. Only because of your guidance, only because of your notes which you have given me. Uh, we are our online course. First of all, first and foremost, I want to thank a lot, ma'am, because of you. Only I'm feeling so happy today. I feel so confident. I'm so happy, ma'am. I don't find better word than thanks to express thank my gratitude you, towards you. you. Thank you so much, ma'am. I'm really touched. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, how are you doing? First of all, tell me how how was the result day for you, ma'am? Uh, actually, uh, this time it it has been so delayed result. First, they have to told that it will be like on a uh, 10th of Jan, and yes. then they have delayed, and then they have delayed. and uh, last two days i was uh, so tense my husband was uh, consoling me but i was so tense literally i cried a lot that i, I couldn't able to uh, clear oh. literally i broke down but when i uh, saw that word qualified for assistant professor i i was in cloud nine seriously uh, literally i got tears out of my happiness thank you so much ma'am thank you thank you i'm really touched and i would just want to uh, say on this part that as teachers we we can just guide you we can provide you with the best quality guidance but then the effort that you put whatever you've received the net certificate that you're going to get that is just because of the hard work you have put in because as teachers i can thank provide you. you with lectures but if you don't listen to them if you don't uh, you know revise them if you don't practice mock tests then what Uh, what can like what can we do on our part uh so but it is thanks for recognizing my hard work but uh your your notes helped me a lot man because i haven't bought a single book for this ugc net exam preparation i just prepared only through your notes sir, which i have oh. took from you uh, from our online course it is i what i did is i just took a detailed notes from your Great. online course i it was hardly 2.5 years back which have attended on uh, online course it, it was like not now it was like completely audio audio course there on right, those right. days there uh, on those days there was no video animation course what video. you provide providing now right uh, right of it course i have there. to agree that it was so hectic ma'am to pause it and resume it to pause it and on and on. it was very hectic thing but i took a very detailed note of you uh i just prepared with that notes alone which helped me a lot and i just studied all the modules 13 modules ma'am some some people are telling that it's enough to study literary theory lit- uh, british literature and criticism uh, right. but i have prepared each and every module like british literature american literature post colonial literature european literature and uh, indian literature theory criticism in english in india literary terms wow uh, wow wonderful and everything ma'am everything i just studied and just revised those notes again and again to seven to eight times up wow and wonderful i think one thing that um, all all the students who are preparing for net should learn from what you just said is that the revision uh, the multiple revisions that you did because most yes, of the ma'am. times what students don't do is that they are going to like prepare from um uh, my course and then they don't revise so revision is equally important uh, as yes, much as ma'am. preparation is important revision is also important that is yes, so if you are if you are not revising then we couldn't able to make in ex- in exam hall In revision exam. is most important. 
Mm-hmm. Than covering the syllabus, revision is more important. Is more important, right? Right. I want to first know a little bit about you. Uh, uh, where are you from, and what have you done okay. so far in your education? So please, yes. please go ahead. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Uh, right now, I'm residing in mother-in-law home, which is in Kumbakonam from Tamil Nadu. But ma, but I did my BA uh, in Karikuri, which is also other town in Tamil Nadu. I did my BA in Umayyad Ramanan College, which is in Karikuri. Then I did my MBA via correspondence because I was pregnant while I doing correspond uh, while I doing this MBA was pregnant, so I was forced to do uh, MBA via correspondence. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I did MPhil in Alagappa University. I just did entrance exam for this MPhil, and I just got selected in the first and just entered into the university. And I worked as an assistant professor for six months. Where I studied, uh, where I studied in the same college, Umayyad Ramanathan College. Mm-hmm. Then after that, uh, when I was uh, pregnant for the second time, I prepared for PhD registration exam, which was conducted by Alagappa University, mm-hmm. and I cracked that also in my very first attempt. That's why. And now I am mother of two. Uh, now I am mother of two kids. Um, I have to take care of my kids, so I couldn't go for job now, uh, and and I also thought not to waste my time, so. Uh, I just utilized uh, uh, this home time for the preparation of net, and I cleared this net in my very first attempt. Wow! This is Wonderful. how I just wow. The the journey has I been fantastic. Have. The journey has been fantastic, and one thing that I I would want to uh, know from you that as a housewife, as a, a mother of two kids, how did you manage to strike a balance between your family responsibilities and uh, motherhood challenges and net prep? Yes, ma'am. Really, ma'am, mentally, physically, it, it, it is like a very stressful thing because mm-hmm. I have, uh, uh, as I am visiting in my uh, mother-in-law's home, I have to take care of household chores. And Absolutely. I'm a mother of two kids. I have to take care of their studies, and they are studying in the ICSE syllabus. I'll, I'll uh, they will be having so many projects, so I have mm-hmm. to sit by their uh, sit by our side by their side and should help with their uh, studies. And I and I have I used to help with my husband's business. So it is really oh. a hectic thing. Wow. Yes, ma'am, wow. it's really a hectic thing. Uh, what I did is I just bad. I just scheduled my work. Like uh, I usually wake up. Uh, early at 4 a.m. My study time okay. is 4:30 a.m. to 7:15 a.m. Then I used oh, to prepare. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Then I used to prepare lunch for my students, and I right. just made them to send and 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 I used to send uh, send them to school. Then mm-hmm. after that, I will be uh, doing some household chores. And again, in the afternoon period, nearly 12 to 2 p.m., I will be studying. Mm-hmm. Then after that, I will be having some household. So then, evening they are, my kids will be back at home. I have to teach them evening. Then, okay. If if time permits me, I'll be hardly spend one hour at night. So in a day, okay. I will be studying uh, around four to five hours. I will be spending four to five hours for my studies alone. Okay, okay. My God, but then uh, waking up at four thirty and then dedicating the morning hours for studies—that uh, is just wonderful, and that is so inspirational. Uh, because a lot of uh, thank you, thank you, I have lot. come across. Uh, they they uh, really feel that okay, since they have so many things to take care on their platter, it is almost impossible for them to like um, prepare for a competitive exam as difficult as that. Yes, but then ma'am. you've done it, and that is fantastic. So um, one I, thing I, I made up to like congratulate you, you for putting in so thank much you, thank you, thank you so much, ma'am. Yeah, one thing I made a point to myself that uh, I take uh, even I can uh, say that I take a oath like uh, I have to. Crack this attempt in my first go. I just mm-hmm. made that point. I just stick to that point very dedicatedly, and I mm-hmm. now I made it. I'm so happy. Uh, the only sole reason is you, and I have to say this, ma'am, uh, and I have to say this. My husband, my life partner, he has been a pillar for this. If he has not there, I would not have achieved this. I have to in this so note. I have to wonderful. thank my husband. Still, that is so wonderful. I would want to like um, you know bring it uh, to everyone's notice that um, a life partner, your family member, all of these people, they play such a crucial role in shaping yes, uh, your career. Yes, and um, I am so glad and I'm so uh, blessed to know that you have been 
um you have been gifted with such a wonderful and supportive yes, husband yes life partners yes ma'am i i i am so blessed in that in that in that in that aspect it is mm-hmm. not there i couldn't able to clear this because when i was Absolutely. busy with my studies when i am not giving proper attention to my kids he used to take care of them wow. so i have to uh, and i would that is what real uh, partnership is all about you know uh, yes, that is yes, what we yes. say that uh, in today's world Uh, a proper a successful marriage is one where husband and wife both they both come together have to balance and, each other yeah. balance each other and balance and each other say, and at the same time uh, be a support pillar for each other it is not just that uh, a wife has to support the husband a husband has to yes, equally ma'am. support a wife so yes, i'm so ma'am. glad yes, that uh, there Thank are so you, many ma'am. gentlemen out there yes ma'am kandipa yeah sure, i ma'am. i also want to understand from you one thing that um, like after reviewing the paper two syllabus uh, ugc net paper two syllabus for the first time what was your first step or like what did you first do when you decided that okay i'm going to sit for this exam so uh, how did you plan your preparation first i just uh, gone through the syllabus which you have organized ma'am the 13 modules uh, the the what i liked most in our course is the way you have organized it was with a very decent way it was very crystal clear so i just gone through those uh, syllabus which you have organized like mm. there was like 13 modules so first i just gone through it then okay. i just uh, uh, admitted in then i just uh, signed in your course and i just uh, first six months i didn't study anything i just hear your uh, Uh, what I just checking your your phones. I just uh, yeah. hear your lectures, and I just took a, what my understanding towards my successes. I just took a detailed notes. It is not. I just. I didn't. I didn't even miss a single word from your lecture. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I used so to cool. like. I I just took a detailed note. The detailed notes help help me uh, for my success. That mm-hmm. I think that is the best part in my side. I think so. I just I didn't even mean a single word from your lecture. I just the mm-hmm. day you know first six months I just been only for taking notes. That after, that is so nice. That is so nice. Yeah, and uh, yeah. did you also go through the mock test and the online tests that we had uh, in the platform? Yes, ma'am. Uh, sorry, ma'am. I sh- uh, I couldn't be able to do mock test because I don't have time. Oh. I okay. just okay. studied and I just revised. But the thing is, okay. I just gone through all the course. past year papers which you have uploaded in our website i okay. just gone through all the past year papers and i just uh, try to sort it out but i didn't open okay. any mock test okay that is that is also equally efficient because past year papers is, uh, is also something that is going to give you a crystal clear idea about how yes, to ma'am. attempt the paper and what kind of questions you can uh, expect yes, and what were your thoughts when you first saw the paper like Oh, uh, were there any sections where you got stuck, or um, how did you feel? No, um, well, according to paper one, I really felt so tough. Uh, the data interpretation, maths part, because we couldn't find even a single question from number series. Oh, this time right, they right. haven't asked any. Every year they used to ask one or two questions from number series. I prepared uh, those questions, but I didn't find any questions. Paper right. one, I felt very tough. But when paper two, our lit- English literature is concerned. I I felt so happy because uh, overall or eighty five nearly to eighty or eighty five question it is from our course I didn't find anything new if I have missed some questions I I just uh, if I have missed some questions if I if I do if I did some wrong uh, I might I might have forgotten that that's the thing mm-hmm. but I didn't but if what I felt is when I saw the question paper nearly to eighty to eighty five questions uh, it is from our course. Hmm. 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 So in that way, I felt so happy. I know. I know that I did not do well in paper one, but I, I'm so happy about paper two. So I'm so yeah, confident right. that I did so paper two well. I think. I think that is the key because uh, you have to play with your own strength. So if paper one wasn't your strength, you did so much effort in paper two that because of paper two, you were able to qualify. Uh, next. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That yes, that is great. And how did you approach the last few weeks uh, before the exam? So, what were you doing in the last last month or let's say last two weeks? I uh, for the last two uh, two weeks, I just concentrated on British literature alone. I just revised okay. again and again. 
that too i uh, concentrated more on the part uh, victorian age romantic okay. age uh, modern age post modern age i just concentrated okay. on these four parts last four last two weeks i just revised it again and again and what was your revision strategy like how did you revise so when you say that you did uh, revision so how did you like was there any particular strategy or how did you manage to remember such vast amount of information no ma'am i will be like uh, i told you no ma'am I, i have revised so many times so which made me to uh, crystal clear in the course so that too when this literary theory is concerned uh, probably i have revised the uh, revised those uh, those topics around 10 times oh so that is to, wonderful yes ma'am yes ma'am because that too i wanted to say this uh, before your course i don't have any knowledge on this part literary theory because i did my ma via correspondence The so, right right the, uh, there was no teacher to guide me no teacher. So, but after mm. you after i heard to your lectures you just made as a cake walk ma'am cake walk ma'am seriously uh, i started to love this part and started to uh, have the attraction towards it that to reader response theory and all the way you have explained me which made me to uh, love the love the topic if you ask me now what is your favorite uh, topic i i ஒரு <laughs> 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 Mm-hmm. but i used to like i used to say them as a weird what you are saying is such a easy topic after some That's time right. i came to know that it is not about the topic it is about a ma'am who made it as easy seriously <laughs> ma'am so seriously ma'am seriously it made very easy uh, thank you, you so much some, if you yeah. have some question from literary theory where when i am sleeping you can easily able to say as <laughs> I'm, i'm so thorough in i'm so tara when not seriously man right right nahi no, that that is wonderful and i i really appreciate that you've listened to so many lectures because we gave about 80 lectures uh related to literary theory you went through each of yes, them ma'am. you made notes yes, and ma'am. then you revised it and uh, you you put in so much hard work and yes, like, and that too consistently a lot of students yes, i feel that they put hard work but then that is very uh, inconsistent they might study for a week and then they might not study and what you said makes so much sense that you kind of decided and uh, told yourself that i have to clear this exam in first attempt and then you charted your preparation yes, but then for when two you years i prepared yeah. for this exam ma'am for two years i prepared for this exam that's 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 there so have been nice. only a student i would have finished this uh, by a year ago but oh, right. being as a married woman i have to uh, concentrate on other things also so which made me to take extra year but extra my year. studies was it was consistent which made me uh, to attain success that that is so nice and uh, why did you feel that there was a need of uh, joining a coaching class for ugc net like why did you opt for our class why did you not uh, felt ki okay let me just study on my own let me just get some books think... from the market and then study no ma'am i don't uh, think so it will work out according to me uh, mm-hmm. I, according to me i want some person to guide me in a right way what uh, what made me to choose your courses the way you have organized your course no, ma'am the 13 modules no mm-hmm. which attract which magnetized me to you, towards you right, it was right. very well organized ma'am seriously it was very well organized so many mentors are there out in youtube and all but uh the organization from your part which made me uh, which made me to decide to join your course thank you thank you so much and i'm glad that i was able to uh, do my part in the entire uh, preparation journey where i was able to provide you with the study material so mm-hmm. uh, did you use any other material or resources for ugc net preparation or you just uh, solely relied on our lectures no ma'am i just relied on your notes ma'am what i have to say is i just made a detailed notes the strategy is detailed notes i not even made a, made a single word from your lecture mm-hmm. i did i just made a detail some people they used to take notes and there and there is a chance to miss some important points you know points, i did not right, miss right. any words i just made a detailed notes and mm. 
it was like they were i it was nearly 20 notes which I, which i'm mm-hmm. having from your uh, like from your uh, course 20 yes i did 20 notebooks 20 to 25 notebooks that to five that to five yeah, that is what made me to this place right. my strategy is i just made a detailed notes that and is, that is what no, mm-hmm. and this one for this phonological questions no ma'am how i just uh, did is i don't believe in memorizing the uh, dates of publication of thousands and thousands of work right, right. i don't right. i don't feel so it will work out ma'am that because there are so many works thousands and th- thousands of works that it is impossible to memorize those dates of publication what right. i did is if you take some if you take a writer like charles dickens you mm-hmm. uh, you have given me as notes and you have uh, given me so many works what i did is i just uh, uh, study those works in the order which you have given in uh, in your course to Absolutely. remember that order i to remember that order i just made a story this is a strategy okay. this is a strategy uh, to remember those things What But is the difference? That is what I tell my students. Yes, this is also I learned from you. Uh, I just saw from one of your uh, YouTube video. You told the strategy. You you told the tricks. So this is also I learned from you. To remember the chronology of works, I just made it as a story. If you take this Pickwick paper, okay, I just kept this Pickwick paper uh, in a um, in a drawer which is made of nickel material, like, which is nickel right. plus nickel by. Then, then, then I put a key in it. That is Oliver. It is used to twist the key, which is Oliver. I just made this kind wow. of story. It that may is, sound so childish. And, no, no, it doesn't. Actually, our brain. We have to understand how our brain functions. And it was so nice of you that you understood this fact early on in your preparation that it is humanly impossible to learn dates of five thousand works. But yes, we ma'am. remember stories. We we watch so many movies and we remember all those stories. Why? Because our brain is. uh you know made or designed in a way that we remember a story way more clearly than we remember random facts so the way you have uh, you know uh, joined all these uh, writers chronologically and weaved them into a beautiful yes, story that is that is wonderful and what according to you is the uh, is more important in ugc net what do you think paper 1 or paper 2 ma'am according to me what we are preparing we have to tear up it whether it is paper one according my success my success is because of paper two if you we have to strong we should make we should make a make a preparation very strong in either of one paper hmm but hmm. we should like we should be strong in it that if that is strong so in that if you are strong in that we can able to, if if one paper weighs down one will hmm. weighs up that that so that is so true you have to understand that what uh, feels more right to you or uh, which topics uh, you are uh, more confident about or you want to study more and then devote all your energy and attention in uh, completing that portion and that will take you or sail you through the ugc net yes, exam ma'am. so it is not yes, about ma'am. paper 1 or paper 2 it is totally dependent ki which portion how are well you are preparing mm, yes ma'am. how, how well, well you are, we are preparing, preparing? exactly be it um, be it paper 1 or paper 2 yes, great ma'am. so yes, what ma'am. are your future plans now that you have uh, uh, completed this wonderful milestone yes, what next yes ma'am. what next is already i have 6 months of work experience next uh, i have to settle up in my home some things i need to some settle up uh, some things because my second kid she is just 4 and a half years old i have to wait mm-hmm. some more time for six months once i have admitted her in her grade 1 I'll be. I have to ask permission from my husband, and I have to go for job. That, that is, is my so next wonderful. time. In the meantime, so in the in the meantime, the six months I'm just preparing to attend some online courses in in topic like content writing. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm just having those plans. I don't know how it is going to work. I'm just having those. Plans. I'm. I'm pretty sure that future uh, holds uh, amazing, amazing things for you because you're such a hardworking person and you're so yes, dedicated ma'am. and you balance out yes, things so beautifully. You are actually uh, what we should be calling a true Indian female who uh, has this power to take the uh, 
uh, home and her career together hand in hand mm-hmm. and who balance it so beautifully so i'm thank you it means a lot sure ma'am. i'm extremely thank sure you. that you are going to uh, bring laurels to your family and then uh, mm-hmm. you you're going to make all of us proud So thank you, thank you so much once again, and thank you so thank much you. for uh, having an. Ma'am, just having a doubt, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, what can be my main? Uh, can you give me any suggestions, ma'am? What can I do? Uh, so, see, there are multiple paths from here since you've cleared UGC Net. So, uh, the next thing that you should be doing is to look out for uh, vacancies in private as well as government universities where you can apply. And uh, if you can, uh, you know, uh, start searching from today itself and start finalizing a list, you might feel you might find that okay, there are about ten uh, to fifteen colleges where vacancies are there for English professors, and then it will be on you that okay, which university do you want to go and teach? Which kinds of, um, uh, you know, kinds of helps you to balance your household uh, responsibilities more beautifully it is near to your place mm-hmm. or uh, the working timings are better mm-hmm. or, or sort of that so uh, i think preparing a exhaustive list of places where you can apply and then applying there and seeing uh, the kind of um, you know response you get from that that i think will be really helpful thank you ma'am what can be my initial salary ma'am as i have cleared the net totally depends like we cannot give you a ballpark figure because uh, every university has a different salary bracket plus okay. it totally depends upon uh, what kind of lectures do they provide you so there are few colleges where you will be asked to like teach bachelor level students there will be colleges where you <coughs> masters level students or number of classes mm-hmm. that they give you so it is also going to okay. vary upon that okay. okay but then any anywhere about 40 to 50k per month should be the initial salary in any good okay. uh, government That's or private amazing. university and it keeps on increasing so i am just giving you the initial minimum salary that you can expect okay ma'am the okay, ballpark ma'am. figure uh, i don't think i would be uh, it would be right on my part to give you because um, there are so many options available that everybody Thank uh, you, offers different salaries right ma'am ma'am i want to say this to you you not even uh, bought change in my life you just bought change inside me i feel so confident now i feel overwhelmed you just thank you for you seriously don't have idea how what you have did in my life you just uh, brought us so so much of change in my life thank you so much uh, and i want to meet you uh, i don't know whether it is possible because you are residing no, in no, north india i am residing in south india <laughs> but then i i would say that uh, south india i've heard a lot about how beautiful kerala is and how beautiful a lot of um, places in south india is especially i've heard so much about um, temples in south india very clean very yes, neat very yes, spiritual yes, uh, spiritually yes, built so i am really looking forward to make a trip to south india and if i'm there i'm definitely going to give you a call and if you, you come south india you have to come to my home ma'am i'm absolutely, just inviting absolutely 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 and if you are any any day uh, planning to plan uh, come to rajasthan please do visit jaipur a beautiful place i yes. think uh, thank you ma'am people gravitate towards rajasthan especially jaipur because of the palaces that we have here and the rich cultural history so i think it's going to be a great vacation and if you're coming here we are definitely meeting i'm going to take uh, take you to my office going to give you an office yeah, tour yes, uh, yes, make ma'am. you meet all the team members that we uh, work with so absolutely so if i am coming to uh, yes. south india definitely yes. i am you have to come to my home absolutely. ma'am absolutely i am just looking forward thank you thank you so much give thank lots and lots of love to your kids and uh, yeah, lots thank you, of um, blessings to you and your husband for okay, uh, you know uh, for portraying a real couple a power couple dynamic relationship thank you it really it really means a lot ma'am it really means a lot because so uh, being much. a mentor you just not talk about uh, our academic part but also you have uh, talk about my personal life also so in that way uh, i'll actually i love you so much ma'am thank you thank you so much for all the love and uh, good wishes that you have okay, uh, for me in your heart and i wish you all the best and thank you ma'am definitely meet very very soon till that okay, time okay okay i'm looking uh, forward you know, 
Absolutely, me too, me too. And okay. wish you all the very best for. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. The next goal that you have in mind. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. And pass my regards to your family members as well. Yes, yes. Sure, ma'am. Sure, which means a lot. Great. Okay, ma'am. Bye, 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 b